Hello, hey, hi, hi, this is with Fred. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, leave a comment, and share so that you can continue learning together. Today, I, I want to take you through the uh, process of a uh, seed dormancy blinking in watermelon, like I told you before. This is a new project that I want to take you through uh, from uh, blinking the seed dormancy, planting up to, to harvesting. And now I'll take you the, through the whole process of seed dormancy breaking so that now some few days from today I can also you can also learn how to plant them and money the whole crop. Now, as you can see, these are my seeds. These are the, the watermelon seeds. I've soaked them uh, overnight. And uh, in the in the process of breaking the seed dormancy, uh, before uh, the first procedure is soaking them in lukewarm water overnight, and I've already done that. Now I want to cover them uh, with a wet towel for the next 24 hours, so that by the time now I'm planting them, they will have germinated. This is my towel. This is a towel that I'm going to use uh, to, uh, to cover the seeds with. Uh, for those who don't understand what seed dormancy is, it is the, the, the process that uh, some seeds are subjected to either by the weather condition or the nature of the skin of the seeds or also uh, the storage can also cause seed dormancy. Uh, this the seed dormancy uh, can make a seed stick longer this to germinate. So uh, you have to soak your seeds now in order to break the dormancy. Failure to that, they will take forever to germinate and they want to germinate uniformly. So what you do, as you see, I'm pouring my seeds from uh, the container that I had soaked and soaked them overnight. Already my towel was wet, so that way now I'm pouring them there. And in this towel now they will stay for another 24 hours. Possibly when I'm going to plant them, they will have uh, germinated. The roots will be protruding. So, yes, that will be my, this is the first step make sure you germinate well and you achieve at least over 95 percent seed germination because that is the first step in 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 uh watermelon farming failure to that uh, you won't be in a good business because uh in watermelon uh, the plants count <clears throat> our first count is plant make sure you have a good plant population then you manage them well so what we do You soak them, then you cover them using the wet towel. So we cover them well, make sure they are covered well, cover them well. All the seeds make sure they are covered well. Make sure they are covered well. As you can see, the the towel is really wet. Towel is very wet to make sure that you maintain the moisture. You cover the seeds well. Yes, and uh, we we'll, we are going to open them tomorrow. Yes, and I'll show you now after covering them now for the next uh, 24 hours how they will look like when go planting. The seeds will have uh, started germinating and now you'll achieve the best germination and whatever you want. After 24 hours of soaking our seeds, the seeds are now ready. As you can see, they have absorbed water well. Some have also even started producing uh, roots. Uh, there, there are some have seen uh, they have started germinating. And this is what I, I told you about uh, when it comes to blinking seed dormancy. If you come and plant them directly here uh, without soaking them in water, 
they will take longer days or they may fail to germinate. But now, the condition that we have subjected them to, then after this we water them, the growth will continue. As from tomorrow, in three days' time, they will start germinating. But in normal days, they take five days and some don't germinate. So all the seeds here are rigid for germinating. And also when planting, you can also see some weak seeds uh, because uh, when planting, you use only one seed. You'll be able now to differentiate which seed will germinate and which will not germinate because majority of them have swollen. Yes, they have already swollen. You can now differentiate the weaker ones and the stronger ones and plant the stronger ones. Until next time, Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together.